Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. So, first things first, we got to see the boss. The boss is all like, yo, I'm a boss. And we'll be like, hey boss, how's it going? He's like, boss, boss, boss. And then we leave. It's pretty much what happens. But with more talking. And more exposition. And more of the prince just sort of talking in that weird voice, but commanding of his. Kind of sounds like t an evil Tony Blair. <laughs> Wait, no, let me rephrase that. Kind of sounds like Tony Blair. Alright. Oh, look, it's Chunk. Fuck off, fat boy. Oh, I mean, y yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, could you, uh, just let me go? Uh, I'd love to buzz you up, but according to Building Security Protocol 916, I'm gonna have to verify you're supposed to be here before I can open the elevator. I hate to be a Louis Law, but I'm new here, and uh, you don't get a second chance like this every day. Right, like I said, <laughs> you can just say, I'm here to see LaCroix, and he'll open it, but we can also dominate and just open the elevator. Uh, okay then, Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. Goddamn right. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting, or uh, whatever it is you types do up there. Do you need any security? Well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me, if you're wondering. Thanks, Chunk. Bye. I can imagine how this goes. You can imagine that. Oh god, Chunk, there's something terrible coming, like, happening upstairs. There's, like, demons and shit everywhere. Oh god, and monitors. Look, monitors. And he'd be like, well, I would like to help you, Halloween. It's just I've got to, like, and you No, you fat bastard! You can up here! You help me right now! But he wouldn't, would he? He'd just sort of say there and be like, sorry, Cupcake, I can't possibly help you. Then I'd have to gut him. Which would take a while since he has big guts. You are huge and have huge guts, etc, etc. Go on, Tony Blair. We got there you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? We... No, we're basically going to suck up to him, uh, because we can get something out of it. And it doesn't actually matter if you don't or not, because it, it works out better if you suck up from. him. And you just go, uh, yes, that is... Most excellent. Don't cut me off, I you bastard. No, you no I'm going to talk over you now. <laughs> I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. None. None at all. Except for Mercurio. He fucked up. But we're going to go with none because we like Mercurio and he's a cool guy. That is the answer I like to hear. Good stuff. And well, circumstances being what they were, I will admit not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's end. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. Stop looking at my assets, it's a pervert. Bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? This is where the good stuff uh, gets pretty funny because you can say no and he just dominates you, so you don't really have a choice. No, I hate you, Print. You're a wanker. I hate your guts. You look like an evil Tony Blair. Sorry, Tony Blair. And then you know, I don't want to do it for you. And he'd be like, Halloween, you will do it. It's kind of like the Force, but eviler. So we say yes, sir. Excellent. Are you by chance in the military at all? I was an officer myself, actually. In Napoleon's ranks. Really? I assumed you were Napoleon. Rumours spreading around the Kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane. The cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? Um, yes. We have. Let's just go with that. It's a, it's, it's a ship. It's cool. The police are investigating the Danes we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture. Yes, you are. So what I need is fact. No, you don't. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran Sarcophagus. You can say, oh, why do I gotta go and be all whiny, but it doesn't work out well. So we suck it up. Quick, brown nosing time. Get in there, Femi Zach, right up his crack. You have three objectives. Yeah. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Danes arrival. In the Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Oh, Secondly, 
The police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? I didn't slaughter the entire warehouse, I slaughtered some of the warehouse. You know, details. Good. Oh, and it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? He said something along the lines of, Yo, check out my revolver, I've got a grenade, get you bitches out of here or I blow your face off. Oh, you mean to me? He just said, um, meet him somewhere. Yeah. Uh, the pub. That's right. English pub or something, probably. You know. Fireplaces, booze, expensive then drinks. You should go humor the violent numbers rhetoric he's so puking. desperately aching to spew. Low cut tops. Oh please, before the chance of fascist oppressor from that dive of theirs clog the air and choke the local kind. Uh, I'll go see him right away. Give the Anarch community my regards. I will say an evil Tony Blair. Sorry, Tony Blair sending his regards. Now we can leave. What happens if I jump on the prince's head? <laughs> he stands up. Wait, he stands up in his chair? How does that even work? Your prince, you like my skirt? It's over your head now. It's a fabulous skirt. Check it out. Woo! Uh, uh, hey! Hey! <laughs> oh. Sorry, big guy. Um, didn't mean it. That's cool. I'm, I'm just going now. Bye! Bye, chunk, you useless bastards. Don't stand up, I'm leaving. Yay! So, first things first, we're gonna buy us a new suit of armour. <laughs> I say suit of armour, you think a big clanking sort of medieval suit. What I mean is some slightly cooler clothes so we can look more hip in the streets and be like, yo, yo, yo I'm hip. Oh, dudes with uh, biohazard outfits. So, yeah, there's a play going on in downtown, which is one of our quests, which we will deal with. There's a church here, which is something else we can do. But first things first, there's a pretty neat uh, little uh, quest we can do, which involves this guy. Anyone want to guess his name? It has to do with his weight. And Larry. Might involve fat somewhere. Hey, you. Baby girl, I saw you coming from down the street and I started praying to the Lord to find it in his heart to send you to me. And hallelujah if he didn't come through for me. Welcome to Fat Larry's Truck of Man. I am the proprietor and salesman of the month several years in a row. The ladies call me, oh God, but you can call me Fat Larry with a F-A-T because there's more of me to love. Fat Larry's amazing. <laughs> You're so good, Fat Larry. What do you sell on the truck, Fat Larry? Now, that is a legitimate question, but a better question to be, what don't I got in this truck? Dinosaurs. You don't have dinosaurs Larry's, in that truck. My motto is, Everything's got a price, but I probably know somebody who can get it anyway. Can you get me a dinosaur, Fat Larry? I don't think you can, unless you nick one from the museum. You gonna send me something, Fat Larry? Nah, nah, that's what I like to hear. But it's like this. I say my best stuff for select clientele. Now that don't mean I don't appreciate your business. It's just, you know, business. I understand the business. Am I doing it right? Business? 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 Business. Show me the merchandise. So, we can get our slightly uh, cooler top, which is uh, quite expensive, actually. I think if we do his quest first, which we will do now... Say now, Wonder Girl. We can get it kind of commando gear you've been stocking up on. Shut up! You I didn't buy anything! Slag! The neighbors away from your shit, is you? So? What's your problem? Wow, wow, wow! Uh, that's your business, okay? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I, I just that's my figured bad. somebody with a yeah. shopping list like yours might be up for a little action song, all right? All right. What do you got in mind? Just, just tell me, Fat Larry. And wow, those are some nice shades. You can't have mine. But can I have yours? Yo, I need a hardcore pimp killing Cleopatra Jones for a super size skull, straight up Foxy Pam Greer style. Still with me? No, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. It's just like you talked in moon language to me there. You could have said, Yo, in it, bling bling bling, 
Halloween, what's going on? Something to do with Cleopatra and some sort of pimp and a fox. And I just like, what? That like, sounds like a really drunk day out in the countryside. Um, get to the point. Here's what's going down. I got a tip that the Chinatown Tone and some local boys are meeting on top of a nearby parking garage to carry out a business deal. Now, I can't tell you what they is exchanging, but let's just say a certain client of mine is ready to drop some Uncle Sam-sized bucks to acquire what's in briefcase number one. You get it for me, I'ma not only give you a cut, but I'll roll out my special stock as well. Now how that sound? Sounds like a good deal. For you. I want a discount at your store as well. Fat Larry. Yo, baby, why you gotta shake me down like that? Cause I'm a hussy. If I hadn't just got my foot out of gas, I'd do it myself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's got to be that way. Fine. You got a discount. But only after I get the briefcase. Deal. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Now, if you're the straight out hard boy Terminator type, I'd suggest you buy some heavy firepower before you roll up to the parking garage. You need anything? No, I'm good. So, I'll be back in a minute. Basically, you couldn't get it where we're going because you're too fat. You couldn't fit in the vents. Which is, uh, kind of sad, really. Now, I think... It's down this way. I can't remember 100% if I'm going the right way or not. It's either down this one or the next one. So, we just have a quick look. Um, this next section, what I'm going to do, because it's a lot of the same stuff of basically crawling around, I'm going to double speed it. Oh, piss wank, I've gone the wrong way. Okay, um, yeah, so you, you can just watch the skirt, just go billowing, 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 wee, as we go down the street. And you'd be like, Halloween, why would you go the wrong way? I thought you knew this game like the back of your hand, and I would say, well, yeah, and no. All the streets look the same, let's just go with that. I think it's done this way. Let's just go with that. But anyway, um, I will double speed it, and you get you'll get the general gist of it, and probably some chipmunking uh, at the same time. As I swear, as I usually, I will knob it up royally because I usually do. Um, all right, there, minimum wage commando. Yeah, yeah. See you there. See you there. Yeah. Bye. Let's do this shit. So, right. Like I said, this involves crawling around events, pretending you're solid snake. But you're not really Solid Snake because it's you know much slower and there's no Master Miller going. Follow the Rat Snake. Also, I'm blatantly not Liquid with my really dodgy accent. He needs like a Wiltshire accent. It's much better. You know, you got some Uar in there, got some Somerset in there. You know, a bit of Uar don't make you Solid Snake. How's it going? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is how we uh, go around this business. Um, where it is? I can remember where the hell I'm going. We. Sneak past these fine, fine gentlemen. As long as I don't bulls it. No. Oh, no, there we go. Right, so from here on, I will double speed. And it's basically going through vents around and around. 